Okay, hello everybody and welcome to another Pepperstone Learn It Live webinar for the 25th of March 2020. And boy oh boy have we seen some volatility over the last two weeks and we'll be talking all about that tonight. So tonight's is, webinar is how to identify market entry points during times of volatility. Uh, we're certainly in one of those. And as always, my name's Thomas Atkinson, joined by Tyra Novella. Hello, Ty, how have you been going? Yeah, good, thank you. Hi, everyone. And yeah, welcome to tonight's edition. Um, it's certainly a timely topic for what is happening in the markets at the moment. And I'm sure, I'm not sure how many of you guys are um, actually stuck at home at the moment with the with the bans in um, around Australia and around the world, probably for that matter. Uh, but in Australia, we're certainly getting a lot of people at home. So we're getting a lot of um, interest in the markets. Um, and the volatility has just been out of control. So a really, really good time to talk about the levels that we're going to talk about tonight and how to identify them, just as importantly, how to take advantage of them. Absolutely, Ty. A lot, with a lot of volatility comes a lot of opportunity. So just before we get started, I'd like to just reiterate, and I will reiterate this twice throughout the webinar, uh, Pepperstone has a great Telegram, free Telegram, that gives keeps you up to date with all the latest happenings in terms of news. It's actually a really excellent feed um, for you to get like a little bit of snippets of information, uh, maybe something about the fundamentals of the day and a bit of a market wrap in the morning. So please do follow that. And we've also put in our FX Evolution uh, uh, public chat group, which allows traders to, I guess, share ideas, uh, trading concepts, technical analysis, and have just overall a general discussion. Because I think one thing, Ty, is that um, trading can be a bit lonely. And by having these things such as Telegram and social media, and more than ever before, it can be lonely with this, uh, of course, social distancing and having to be at home. It's a great way of sharing ideas. So make sure you join those. They're completely free to do. So risk yeah, warning yeah. type information provided in tonight's webinar has been produced by a third party and does not reflect the opinion of Pepperstone. The information has been provided without any alteration or verification and should be considered only general in nature. As always, please seek independent financial advice if necessary before making any financial decisions. So what are we going to be covering today, Ty? We're going to be having a look at identifying patterns and trends that signify reversals. Now, we've actually got some of those in the market at the moment, so we'll take a look at those. How to interpret the VIX and what it's telling us about the current market situation, very important. There's key levels as well with the VIX. Uh, Tyron and I, and I think a lot of big traders are of the opinion that when the VIX kind of hits over that 20 to 25, most likely 25 mark, that you should be changing your investment style. And we'll talk about that more throughout tonight's webinar, but very important. And of course, then we'll be looking at key support and resistance levels on indices. Uh, specifically, we'll be looking at those bigger monthly weeklies. They're the ones that are so key. We'll look at the levels that were hit, why they were hit, where it's going to now. We've obviously got a massive stimulus packages coming in from the US. I think they've just approved that $2 trillion stimulus. And then we'll see where I guess it could go next. It's going to be a bit bullish maybe tonight. And then uh, we'll see where it maybe stops and pot potentially comes down. I mean, remember, we haven't sorted this problem out just yet. And we need to always keep sight of that. And of course, the live Q&A with our team. So Ty, uh, what is the VIX? Now, we've done this slide before, but the VIX is a live market index representing the market's expectation for volatility over the coming 30 days. The investors pretty much you will use the VIX to measure the levels of perceived risk, stresses and fear in the market. So we saw that VIX almost hit 80 uh, the other day. I think it did uh, tap 80 um, over the top of the S&P 500 index ones. And this uh, is so important because we have never seen the VIX this high since the GFC. So we have incredible fear in the market, incredible uncertainty. And that means that we need to be diving down into the smaller timeframes following the aggressive trends and looking for scalping slash day trading opportunities. So Ty, what are your opinions on scalping and day trading during this time? Yeah, look, the thing about um, the big volatile markets that we've seen obviously in the last three odd weeks is it's almost impossible to pick a direction unless you've actually got an initial break. Now, that did happen at, when the markets were at their highs and um, yeah, we were, I guess, looking for those shorts at every opportunity, really. We were looking for a, a pretty reasonable pullback. Not in our wildest dream did we think it was going to pull back 30%, of course, but uh, we were certainly looking for shorts. In that environment, yes, you're looking for a, um, a position where you could take a, a medium to yeah, longer term uh, direction and trade in that way. But once the volatility kicked in and it, the 
market went into into free fall, it started to move as everybody could see, you know, eight and nine percent a day uh, in mm -hmm. opposite direction. So one day it'll be up ten percent and it'll be down ten percent the next night. That is an extremely difficult market to try and predict a, a direction for any more than a handful of pips. So once that VIX, as Thomas uh, alluded to, gets up above that twenty five. It, obviously, mm -hmm. it's indicating there's going to be big volatility in the market. And with volatility comes uncertainty. So when the uncertainty kicks into the market, we're obviously looking for smaller uh, attacks at longs and shorts and aiming for very key levels, which is what we're going to touch on tonight. But you have to completely change your trading style because if you are going for that medium to longer term uh, investment strategy, which we you know often condone because that's what you know, a lot of good technical analysis setups actually uh, want us to do. Uh, once you, if you do that during big volatile periods, you're just going to get chopped up and uh, basically spat out by the market. So it's very important to change that style to a scalping type uh, strategy mm -hmm. where you're in and out in a lot faster manner. Yeah, and I think this this point here, markets have a tendency to sell off faster than they rise high. When the VIX is high, that volatility comes in, the aggressiveness of a sell-off is always generally bigger than the buying back up of that particular indice. So very, very important. I'm sure many of you have already read that slide there. So Ty, let's actually jump into the market. I wanna talk about monthly area of different indexes so first we we're going to have a look at this vix so we can see here vix tapping out almost at that 80 on, on the pepperstone platform in fact it probably did hit the 80 here 79.5 here on this one um you will see slight different variations of the vix depending on what index they're against but yeah this is in the pepperstone metatrader 5 platform and right now we're trading at 42 so we're still trading incredibly high off the average all right ty um, very important for everybody to see that we're trading very, very high. So we're still looking at the day trading scalping strategies. Here we've got the US and we can see the US market is roaring after the stimulus has been announced from the US. And we're getting to a very key area. We're sitting at that 2500 zone. Obviously, this is incredible little bit of resistance on uh, the previous kind of uh, pullbacks that we've got over here, Ty. And we've had that support down these lines. So let's just jump out to a monthly and we could probably get rid of all these lines. We'll just quickly delete those. No reason for them to be there. And we'll talk about where the market got to. Key, I guess, areas, I'm just drawing up key areas right now and what might happen next. So a lot of people will maybe perceive this bull run right now as the end of the crash and this is the end of you know, the, the, the falling market and all of those types of things. Generally speaking, the market likes to come back and, and have a kind of second chance draw at, at the lows. And what we're seeing here is we're seeing a definite pullback. We can notice that 50 moving average on the monthly, it's getting completely broken. And we're, we're seeing that it comes off that first level support incredibly aggressively back up to this level. So then we wanna jump down to the smaller time frames tie. And I think one thing that's really showing here on the daily you look at that 20 moving average and look at how far the market sold off against that 20 moving average on the daily. It's almost unheard of, that kind of mass sell-off. So it makes sense for the market, especially with the good news of the stimulus and QEs and all these fundamental reasons that I guess are helping it, even though the virus is still breaking out, um, pushing that market up to a technical level such as the 20 moving average. And we're gonna see this through quite a lot of indexes. Remember, it's the same thing that we're seeing projected through so many. So what are your thoughts on this one, Ty? Does it make sense for it to hit that 20 again, potentially? It, it does. And look, for, from a technical standpoint, we really want it to because it does um, you know, signify a serious you know, pullback to a level that you know, it does make a, a lot of sense. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, how much how much attention we pay to you know this big bull run that um, is happening? I am always very cautious when a market is running into what is basically you know the largest rescue package mm -hmm. ever um, created, which is mm -hmm. exactly what it is. Um, yeah, that's telling that's telling us the market and telling us tra as traders that you know uh, the economy is in serious trouble because of this virus. There's no question about that. Um, and and as, as as much as $2 trillion sounds like an extraordinary amount of money, which it obviously is, um, the the fallout from what's happened um, and the economic shutdown, which is basically uh, playing out at the moment, is unprecedented. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know how much money it's actually going to take to prop up this market. Now, 
so so to me, um, it, it's hard to be able to get excited about a bull run. Uh, well, it's not really. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's only like a, a you know a reasonable couple of hours since they signed the paperwork. It's mm. got. It makes sense to go to the twenty, but I wouldn't be thinking, you know, we're going to be back at thirty three hundred anytime soon. So, no. you know, it, it really tells what we're looking for, and th- and this is what I mean. Uh, you wouldn't be making a decision on the long term direction of the S and P five hundred right now. That would be, you know, foolhardy at best, and and very lucky if you get it right. What you're trying to do now is isolate good scalping opportunities, and mm-hmm. and none will be- better present than a potential, you know, pullback to the to the twenty moving average you know, a, a short-term uh, pattern change on a smaller time frame to really be able to take advantage of the volatility. And, and mm. by taking advantage of this volatility, you're getting speed. And and by that, I mean, you, you enter the trade, your results are going to come pretty thick and fast. Now, it's, it's the standard rule, the shorter time that you're in the market, the less risk you are at something going wrong. So, you know, obviously, with a world changing you know, by the hour at the moment, yeah, the longer that you're spending in your trades, the bigger there is a chance of a news release or, or something happening that could go against you. It could go for you as well, of course, but um, it could potentially <clears throat> go against you. So short and sharp moves, um, volatility playing in your favor will get you in and out of the market very, very quickly at the moment, which is optimal. Uh, it's, it's what we actually look for when we're trading. So very, very good. I, I want to just highlight this German DAX tie. So we're going to be talking about the patterns that you want to see in these types of markets. Uh, but more importantly, because we're on this epic bull run right now in terms of bull comeback, um, basically markets hit those lows on the DAX at 8,000. It makes sense again for that level to be hit. I uh, just drew up this kind of double top that happened when about 80% of what you expect. Obviously down here is, I guess, the super key support, which is where the completion is of that. It's bounced a little bit earlier. And guess what? It's coming back to this point. This 10,500 is going to be such a key area for it. If we go down onto the weekly, we can see that it's bull running. This makes sense for it to potentially be a breather point. So this 10,500. If that happens, it's going to hit that 20 moving average. It's going to hit around that zone. And then we're going to be starting to look for potential reversal patterns. And we mentioned this a few weeks ago in the webinar. And the ASX 200 was a really good example of, uh, I guess, a market. <clears throat> Let me just bring it up. Where little double tops and double bottoms and things like that were getting you into opportunities. So we can see over here, this is, of course, you want to jump down to the smaller time frames, But look at key areas uh, of breaks. So if we have let's say over here, this really nice pullback, this pullback happened, made triple resistance, made a low here, broke through that, that's going to be our double top. And then of course, it just continuously sold off. So when you're getting direction of trade trends, and even direction of trade breaks, if you'd seen this one at the end of Saturday morning, and you'd sold it, well, that's a full completion of your range. So you're going to get a full completion of your range incredibly quickly. In fact, it gapped into it and then it's 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 coming back. Now, I'm not saying you want to trade necessarily over the weekend, but these key zones, when they're testing multiple times, let's say we had the resistance and it tested and it did something like this tie. It came up and it went one, two, three, broke down. Even if that's on a one hour, even if that's on a 30 minute like this, they're going to, or a 15 minute, it doesn't really matter. When those key levels are breaking, they're so aggressive across all the currencies right now, all of the uh, all of the indexes, everything. So it's all about recognizing key areas, trying to follow that trend. And if you're waiting for a trend reversal, looking for what we call a channel break or maybe a double top or a triple top or a triple bottom or another channel on the bottom. And when you see these kind of zones form and then break out to low, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive right now, Ty. Very important zones, very important kind of patterns. Yeah, and I think it probably, I mean, this uh, chart here really highlights why it, it pays to look at the, um, you know, all the different time frames available to you on some of these indices. Like a lot of people wouldn't even think to look at a 30 minute chart on an ASX 200, but if you were day trading this, there was an absolutely brilliant opportunity to go along at the 4,800 off that 200 moving average here. like that's just classic um yeah technical analysis it's a a role reversal zone the 4800 is a very serious zone uh no question about that but look at that i mean that was just um you know an explosive move and that's just what's been happening over the last few days you can see that even on a 
you know, an outward sort of chart, like a 30 minute chart, which, you know, it's not one of the most popular charts you're ever going to see. All the technical zones are respected in terms of moving averages. They're pulling back all the way up. It was pulling back on that trend up. It was pulling back to the 20 just at every time, um, came back to a serious 200 before it had its, its relaunch here um, earlier today. It gives you a lot of opportunities. So it really is important, especially when you are you know, in that scalping uh, mindset, to make sure that you're looking at all of the available timeframes that make sense to the trade that you're trying to place to look for these opportunities. Yeah, so look, there's, there is a lot of opportunities, but I think that if you were looking at, let's say, these indexes, whenever you have a market that's bounced off a zone and come up so heavily, you can only look at previous times that this may have happened and whether those moves were this aggressive. I mean, this is unprecedented moves back and forwards. I mean, we're looking at 13 to 13 to 13% nights and stuff like that in the indices. So I think it's, you know, you don't usually see like these bull runs where it just goes all the way up here, especially when the problem still maintains. These are rescue packages designed to stimulate the economy and try to save it. But remember the problem still exists. So it's all about being into the small timeframes, recognizing your key levels on the higher timeframes, breaking it down into one hours and 30 minutes and 15 minutes, and then looking for key breakout areas. Uh, and then basically trading it. Now, in terms of the moving averages, we always get asked this question, red one's 20, blue one's 50, green one is 200, okay? So we like to use these ones, and that's because you'll see things like this happen. You see maybe a bit of a bull run begin, it tests that 50, it tests that 50, and guess what? If it was to come back and test the 50 again, that will act as a dynamic level of support on the way up. And that's often how I, I wrote an article for Pepperstone a little while about this, about with Tesla, you can often follow aggressive trends by using moving averages as dynamic support or resistance. On the way down, it was very similar. You'd be able to find a time frame, look at that moving average, and then basically say, okay, well, it's hitting that moving average and that's acting as dynamic resistance, whatever that way one may be. And then you could just follow that dynamic resistance in general on the way down, look for things like role reversal, look for these kind of, especially here, it's a great case of role reversal off that 24.77 and continue to trade on the way down. But you'll be in the five minutes right now and in the 15 minute time frames. a lot of things going on um, for sure. So we'll get back into the slides. And we will just talk about a couple of other things to do with the VIX and what we want to do. So how do we trade the VIX with your current trading strategy? So why are they going to be primary style scalpers, which we'll need to spend potentially, of course, a long time in front of the charts at the moment, multiple days per week. Pretty much every day is on for trading right now. Usually we've been always saying Monday is not a great trade day, but let's face it, these gaps off the weekends have been severe. Please do look at the hedging a webinar we ran as well, just in terms of if you, the gaps can be quite severe and obviously hurt your account. So you need to be aware of that kind of thing. Um, of course, if we want to, you know, be a bit of a supplementary style scalper, hopefully we have a scalping system. And then of course we can use those favorable market conditions um, to adapt our trading style to take advantage of these situations. So right now, the market is certainly not rage bound, certainly trending each way. Um, we're going to be using our timeframes probably 5, 15, 30 and 1 hour. Specifically 30 minute, 1 hour, very good for setting up support resistance loan zones for breaks on currencies and indices. And then when you see those levels break, especially if they're being touched, now importantly, three times or more. If you see a support level being hit three times, let's say on a 15, 30 or 1 hour, and then it breaks through that support zone, very key market um, positioning. It means that big volumes coming in and the aggressiveness of the trades at the moment has meant that when that trade goes through, it generally just pushes and keeps pushing. The conservative entries are not happening as much. Please be aware of that. Obviously, VIX over 25, we want to always be looking at our scalping and intraday trading system. Channeling markets similar to what we've seen on gold, and gold has broken out massively to the upside. This is the kind of thing where you'll see bases formed, potentially if the US market goes up to those highs we talked about, if it starts channeling and then breaks to the downside, 
that's going to be some aggressive shorting as well. So something that's worthwhile potentially looking at in the future. That's pretty much what a channel looks like in terms of, you know, take profit and stuff. Right now, you can probably leave more money on, Ty. I mean, w would you think that if, let's say, we had a channel on the one hour at a key level and it was breaking to the downside, would you think there's more in it than, than the general kind of take profit level for a channel? Yeah, when the volatilities are in the markets and they're moving such ridiculous amounts, um, it's probably best to not so much. Um, I mean, when you take profit needs to be where it needs to be. But what I would be tending to do is actually um, only taking a small portion off, moving your stop loss um, right up to past break even, probably put it behind the last swing mm -hmm. low yep, and, um, and leave probably. Generally, what we advocate in all of our um, our trading is to take 80% off at the take profit um, or at, at the 80% zone. But when the markets are moving as they are, once it starts to get going, um, you could probably take off a little bit less and leave more to run. But always take your stop loss uh, right up to pass break even. So your worst case scenario is not a loss. You'll always be making money in those instances. But the rewards can be quite large because when they do break out properly, uh, as you can see, we're seeing you know, 8 to 10% moves in a day. And if your original take profit was only a 1% or 2% move, you know, you could you know, double, triple, you know, even quadruple some of what mm. you were going to get in those instances. It doesn't, it's not like that all the time. It's only when it's volatile. So you know, mm -hmm. don't, don't think for a second you want to be doing that um, in a normal trading environment. You know, 70 to 80% of the year, you're taking your take profits exactly where they need to be. But in this instance, it doesn't hurt to let them run because you will get some good benefits from it. Yeah, double bottoms also or double tops. Uh, make sure you learn those and make sure you correctly identify them. We saw the big monthly ones playing out on that DAX, that German 30. It's also on the Nikkei. If we have a look at the Nikkei, the Japanese index, you'll notice the very similar pattern, very similar payoff, very similar moves. So they always, remember the monthly helps you see where long-term flow will be. Right now, we might be trading even in a five minute. You go, why the hell do I care about a monthly? It's because you still need to know those key zones. You might put them on your chart in certain colors. Let's say you might have them in there as orange or whatever color it is. And you know that if price on your 15 minute chart is getting close to an orange line, you better go pay attention because those levels are very key for big traders. And boy, oh boy, big traders are in the markets right now, for sure. And we're even seeing some dry up of liquidity in certain things. So uh, let's have a quick look at some live examples. Again, uh, let's just talk about a few things, Ty. Just notice this, New Zealand. Look, it's been a, uh, an absolute sell-off fest on the New Zealand dollars. All, all of a sudden, we're seeing a pickup in New Zealand dollars. Again, we're seeing pretty much nice bases being formed. Here's a four-hour. We've got very strong kind of resistance with wicks. We've got a body kind of close out there. And then, of course, we're now seeing a little bit of resistance here at the highest point of the week. But this has formed what you would like to say is a good like little base kind of area. If we go to gold, <clears throat> well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that uh, this thing's absolutely bulled very heavily in the last kind of uh, two days. Now, if we, if we look at gold and we basically consider um, how strong this base was, we have a very, very strong 1458 kind of base. And then, of course, we've got a nice resistance zone that was broken over here. And then just every key resistance after that tie was taken out. So, I mean, a lot of people would have had take profits here and they would have probably been very correct to have take profits there. It's blasted through that, but guess what? It's used this level, this key level of resistance as now a key level of support. And look at all these wicks, massive wicks off each end. Um, and of course, now it's got that bullish momentum back in it. But you can see the key levels are still holding up even during this high volatile time. Um, but you can get involved in when, when when something breaks like here and you know, OK, most likely when it breaks this zone, it's going, let's say, to this zone. So if we think that, OK, when it breaks this zone, it goes to this zone. Well, maybe there's little opportunities on the five minute, 15 minute chart. Cause remember, we're on the one hour here where we can say, OK, oh, we've seen bullish hammer in the direction of trend. We've seen dynamic support that's been tested a few times throughout this bull run. We believe that's going to be a good buying opportunity. All these things become opportunities for you as a trader to potentially get into it just on the price action side of things. Maybe you see the market come down and then you've got a bunch of indicators as well that are saying oversold. You've got that moving average. 
you've got that hammer candle, you've got like a little double bottom on a five minute, anything that's going on there, maybe even here it was, that you still know should go here, gives you that advantage of being able to take the trade to a much better key level than you usually would be doing. Sure. Just, I'm just going to jump in. We're getting quite a few questions about um, what's actually happening in the live market and um, where we're looking at key levels. What I will just sort of emphasize is we've got a, a webinar starting at 9 p.m., so in about 35 mm -hmm. minutes. I'll pop the, um, I will pop the link in the chat window for anyone who wants to join. It is free, but we'll be doing a full market analysis and um, yeah, live technical analysis wrap in that particular webinar. So for all of those who have got questions about what's happening in the live markets in the indices and in the currency pairs, just feel free to um, yeah, jump in on that webinar. It starts in half an hour. The link is in the chat window and then we'll be able to answer any of the questions that you've got there. I got a few questions about, you know, where are the absolute key support levels for indexes? I guess, look, your key support levels are previous big monthly supports and resistances. So look, I would have said that no, no question, no question, 4,800 was a incredible key support for the Aussie index. It's hit it before and found support there. It's hit it and found resistance. It obviously got through there on Monday due to that high volatility. And if we look, it went pretty much straight into that 4,400 range. But pretty much the next level after that would be 4,000. So you'd actually be looking at 4,400 into 4,000. And then if it got through there, I mean, GFC lows would be exposed high. So there's, there's these key levels that you're going to see if these things happen, these are the levels that, that, that would hit. Um, now, obviously, if you're shorting it, let's say you got into a short up here for whatever reason, and you're looking at key levels where I, where I could take my short off on the longer time frames if I want to hold it, well, your first key was going to be that 4,800 zone. Your second key is going to be the previous low, the 4,400. And then if you're still holding it for whatever reason, it'd be 4,000. Now, I don't, I'm not saying I expect those things to happen. We don't, we don't know what to expect right now. They're just the key areas. The US 500 um, or the, the Dow, there's no against coincidence why it came off this zone. I and mean, what a beautiful zone, 18,000 previous resistances back in that 2014, 15 kind of highs, and then boom, bounce straight back off it. Again, that may not be the low. I mean, the next exposed level would be the lows of those years. So these are the key zones that you're gonna see the market gravitate to. And it, it just shows you the importance of using those monthlies at the moment, Ty. You've got to, you've got to look and visualize these levels, put them on your charts, and then go in and scalp and, and day trade within those zones. Um, and you'd be surprising, it'd be, you'd be surprised how much it does help. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been one of those ones. It's, um, it's certainly been fun to trade, that's for sure. But um, mm. look, there's the opportunities are, are everywhere at the moment. So um, yeah, look, for to, to see more of these, like I said, ju jump in the next webinar because we're going to go through a lot of the live examples of you know, what we've talked about here in, in, in currency pairs as well. But We'll stick to um, the main levels that we're talking about for volatility. But as you can see now, we've got the uh, role reversal demonstration on the screen. A lot of people probably know what it is, but for those of you who don't, um, support a role reversal area is where a level that was previous resistance, as we can see here marked in the red, um, once broken can act as a very strong level of support. So once price eventually does break through a key level, um, and yeah, it, sometimes it can be a round number or it can be just a level in the market, similar to what we were talking about earlier, like the um, the fifty, oh, the forty four hundred on the Aussie, the forty eight hundred. It can then often act as support when it comes back down and tests it, and that support is often quite strong. So as you can see here in uh, a live example, you can see that we've got you know four very solid touches of an area and. Then when it did eventually break through, you can see it came back and retested that area from above it and acted as a very, very strong support zone. So that's what we call role reversal. And it's a very, very powerful uh, thing in the market, especially um, when, when the market is uncertain about where it wants to go, which is basically a volatile market and what's happening now. These are the key levels that markets do gravitate to. So it's really, really important to have a good understanding of where they are. <laughs> what I was basically saying is that when we've got uh, the, the most important things with the market is going to be double tops, double bottoms, channels, 
and roll reversal. And if you have roll reversal and you've got double tops and double bottoms and you understand those things, even if you use indicators or you use moving averages or whatever type of thing you want to have as your main trading, please do understand those price action principles because they're just so important in terms of when you're looking at trades during these volatile times. You recognize those patterns, you see the breaks, aggressive money is coming in and you want to be with these big traders. When these big traders start dumping stocks, we've seen only in the last couple of days, 10%, 15%, potentially even down days and up days because the, the aggressive moves of these algorithms are pushing it. And, and with high volatility, the move is faster and bigger. So very, very important. Uh, so we always want to optimize our entry as well, uh, Tyrone. So we want to you know, have as much as we can in terms of enter based on confirmation, not on gut feeling. Don't break even trades with fixed pip amounts. Always use percentages, very important. And of course, spend time learning the way the market moves. Right now, of course, it's just moving aggressively based on anything really. Uh, so it's not really a, a extreme time for that. But usually each currency or each pair has its own kind of way of moving. I think also you want to have a trading plan based on multiple entry criteria. We talk about this a lot. If you're taking a trade just purely based on, let's say, a hammer candle and there's no support or resistance or there's no Fibonacci level or there's no uh, pattern coming off that or anything like that, then you're not making an informed decision. You're basically making a very quick random decision and that's not what you want to do. So. We want to have a points-based system generally. It might be that you have two indicators that you have and then you've got a support resistance break and that brings you to your 75 points and you're able to take a trade. You've got three good reasons to be in that trade. Very important. I actually recommend if you have a trading system, do it old school. Print off the trading system, laminate it and just get a big texture and just tick it each time. It doesn't really matter how you're going to do it, but if you have a way or a system of approaching every trade like a business decision or a business investment, very, very powerful um, trading tool. Uh, what market conditions we look for? Look, these bits of news I think are going to become important. Now, remember, we have seen aggressive sell-offs with relatively little economic data yet, Ty. What are we thinking about this economic data? I mean, no doubt the US data is going to show a slowdown. No doubt unemployment is going to be worse in the next two months. Will this shock the market? Is the market expecting the kind of figures and the shrinking that they might see? These are going to be key decisions. And I think everyone must be aware when we start to see the slowdown figures come out, get on economic calendars. I believe there's one on Pepperstone's website. Make sure you're looking at your economic calendars and you're fully aware of the currency or the index and what who is talking and what is happening that week. When these trades and these, these economic figures come out, I don't care which one it is, each one of them is going to be super aggressive because we're in a time of fear and this happened to us during the GFC. I remember trading it. Each rate cut, even though you'd probably expect a rate cut, was explosive. I mean, Ty, do you remember QE? Yeah. It was, oh, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah, the markets were moving. They were moving two, three hundred points uh, in a couple of ticks. It was just absolute madness. Um, and yeah, if you're on the wrong side of it, boy, oh boy, <laughs> it was. Actually, what I'll do, um, could, could we just get some confirmation that the audio is working? Okay, we seem to have had a couple of people drop out. Could you just put um, a yes in the chat window? You can hear it. Yeah, it's just, I've just had a couple of people say they can't hear, but um, I think for the most part. Yep. Okay, great. No, it sounds like everyone's um, got us. So for those of you who are having trouble hearing, it must be um, it, it probably on your end. We did lose audio there for about um, half a minute, but it should be all good now. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, I do apologize about that. Um, look, I'm going to bring this in. Let's see if I can. Um, I'm just trying to get this image. It's an image from Pepperstone's. Uh... One second, guys. Uh, I'm just going to get this up because it's a really good image of the QEs and I think it would be beneficial to show everybody this image. All right, one second here. All right, I've got it. Cool. 
All right, I want to show this image and it, it, it's uh, been posted in the Telegram chat by Pepperstone. I think it's really important to what we're seeing right now. We've got QE and we've got government stimulus. Now, this is just a chart of the index, at, um, I think at the S&P 500 over the QE. So this is the GFC, first QE, okay? And I want to draw to that because this is the first time they started the QE and then it did stimulate the market and then of course the market got shocked again then it fell to the low and slowly recovered after the qe and then of course we saw a second qe third qe and then of course we're now in this next new key qe point but it's really really important to note that the market while initially reacted strongly to this move then sold off again so I think that that you know this is a cautionary tale, I guess, of trying to say, oh, we've got hit the bottom and the bottom's done. Generally speaking, Ty, we haven't even seen a piece of economic news yet, <laughs> um, and I, I want to no, stress that. Exactly. I mean, what are your what are your thoughts there? I mean, I think that that it, it shows to me these things kind of happen again and again and again, and I just think it's a cautionary tale and why you still want to be sticking to that scalping day trading uh, concept at the moment. Yeah, the scalping day trading is not going to get you in trouble in the long run if you've got your take profits and stop losses set correctly and obviously your risk management. But look, uh, this is going to be a very, very volatile year. This is not going to change um, in, in the next month. We're going to have you know moves of probably reasonable magnitudes probably for all mm -hmm. of 2020. So um, it's and, – and that creates an, an amazing opportunity for everybody out there now. Like while we're trading this environment, this is a really good way – to hone in your skills, um, you know, make some good money because obviously the money is there to be certainly made if you're doing it correctly. And um, and yet most importantly, it tunes you into what to expect in volatile markets. So when the market does quieten down a little bit, you're able to actually work um, with the, the movement and you get a very good gauge as to what an average range is compared to what a very volatile range is. Because what a lot of people fall into the trap um, of not seeing much volatility and thinking that um, the market can't do certain things. And then they almost anticipate and increase their risk because they think that, oh, yeah, the euro couldn't move 400 pips in a day. Like, yeah, surely, surely not. Um, these, sort of, <laughs> these sort of days um, and weeks really show you what, is what the market is actually capable of. So I think it actually puts you on notice and it forces you to understand that risk management is super important because just putting a stop loss or a, um, a manual stop loss is what like people like to call it, where they'll just stop it if the loss gets too big, can be completely blown out of the water. It, it, it teaches you to trade. These markets not only make you good money, but they actually teach you to become a good trader. So yeah, really lock in 2020 as the year to learn because um, we don't get many years like it and it can really set you up for a very, very um, fortuitous trading career. Yeah, so Ty, look, we've obviously got a course that we do run um, that's based on obviously Forex and also based on any trading instrument. And it teaches you a lot of the basic foundations of all of the things that you want to be using as a part of a business plan. Uh, I guess, look, it would be, we understand that a lot of people are at home at the moment and obviously there's a huge interest in trading at the moment. Um, so we do have a special discount that I guess we are running for people. And it's just a little, uh, like a monthly subscription that gives you access to a private telegram and everything. And I thought it would be worthwhile mentioning um, because right now uh, there are, you know, so many people that are interested and I guess it's very easy to look on YouTube and find information. It doesn't mean that information is correct by any means. Um, so, you know, something like our course, we've been doing this for a long time, uh, may be a very good solution for a lot of people and we've made it very, very cheap. In fact, it's not even on our website. I was just getting that link for it because we understand that people, um, you know, at, at home and potentially even out of work. So, yeah, it's something that we're doing. Uh, I will post it in here just so everyone can see it and uh, you're welcome to check that out. But, yeah, look, we've got the Pressic system as well as part of the advanced course. It's basically the business plan. Um, very, very good. But again, like any business plan, that's what you want to do. I want to stress to everybody during this time, sound risk management strategies. Try to be smart with your risk reward strategies, never risking over 1% to 2% of capital if possible. Uh, it's very hard right now, I know, uh, but you know you need to be able to try to do that and know when, of course, to get out and have a plan for your situation. So things like 
um, trying to have two to one risk reward ratios. I think that if you're seeing double tops, double bottoms, those kind of channel breakouts, that you could hold the positions longer than the standard technical analysis and keep it going in that direction, especially if it's in the direction of trend, incredibly powerful move. So do check that out. Now, I've got a whole bunch of questions here, Ty. You've done a great job answering so many of them, but I think I wanna share with the group a few of these. Um, so are we planning on sending the recorded version of the webinar? Absolutely, um, that will be sent out in email form. Pepperstone has a great YouTube channel w, uh, on, on YouTube, obviously, which is under Pepperstone. We've got one as well under FX Evolution. If you just search FX Evolution in uh, YouTube, we've got our own one. And uh, look, we try to update content there multiple times a week. So that's great. Uh, okay, about entry points. What's no, I know the trigger? The Pepperstone yep. Sorry, Ty. Okay, I was just going to say, okay, a few people have asked about the Pepperstone um, Telegram group. Look, no, no, you can't actually chat on it yourself, but they, they put an enormous amount of um, resources into keeping everybody up to date with a lot of the news as, as it's coming out. Um, you can set it so you get alerts. So when, whenever they post something about a potential news release or any um, of the data that they're receiving, uh, you'll get an alert for it. So it's a very, very good service to have um, you know, setting, giving you alerts because they put a lot of resources into it. So it's very powerful. Have it going in the background and you can pick up basically all of the alerts they, they put through. Mm. Our one, um, the our private, our public chat one um, is a chatting uh, website. So you can actually chat with other traders and, and mm. share ideas and pick up on other people's ideas. So they're a little bit different. So it's very um, useful they're to actually be part of both groups. Because they, they do. They're a very good combo because um, Pepperstones gives you a lot of um, very deep resources um, coming in uh, very, very timely. And ours is more of a chat version where our people obviously can chat and talk about trades together. So, yes, yeah, certainly worthwhile joining both. And don't forget, look, we're still getting questions on the, the live markets at the moment. Uh, again, um, the webinar starts in about 15 minutes. So I'll, I'll pop it in the chat room again just to make sure that people have seen it. If you're having trouble finding it, just let me know and um, I'll send you a private link for it. I'm going yeah. to answer this great question because it's important for people right now. Um, about entry points, what's the trigger? Stochastic, can, stochastic candle confirmation, EMA cross, breakout, et cetera. But great question. You want to first find a base, okay? Or a level where the breakout has occurred. A breakout is probably the best strategy right now because when the breakouts are happening, they're aggressive and fast. If you're going to trade, then let's say roll reversal would be the next best area to be finding stuff. So if you've got a breakout, the breakouts occurred and you see a roll reversal point where you've seen a, uh, let's say it's going down. So a support becomes a resistance and that resistance then has a shooting star on it or it has something like, um, you know, maybe a moving average. It's coming back to a moving average and finding a dynamic uh, resistance there. These are all key areas. You get those, you get two or three reasons. Probably the stochastic would be overboard as well, so that you've got maybe your stochastic, you've got your moving average, and you've got your roll reversal. If you have all three of those things, it's 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 a very good shot at having a highly statistical type of trade. So to answer the question, obviously you'd love to have quite a few things, but more than one and at least three reasons. Very strong. And just be careful for those indicator users, read on your indicators. Sometimes two or three of them show you the exact same thing as each other all the time. So be warned that the very many of these indicators are very similar with the oscillators tie, aren't they? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, no, you definitely want to be um, yeah, paying close attention to those, but yeah, most definitely. All right, guys. Well, look, I'll leave it with you there, I guess, for tonight until we get started in the next one. Very key moves. Uh, obviously, we can't cover everything straight away, but look, you know, we've seen aggressive moves here off the Fed stimulus. All indexes are making a lot of sense to be going to certain areas, but I think that, you know, we haven't even seen economic news yet. So get ready for a huge April, end of March. I expect the figures to be explosive. Obviously, we've only had a taste of what happened in China in terms of slowdown and even that rocked the markets instantly. So, Let's see what happens, um, but until we have a real solution for this, uh, you'd almost call it evil disease, Ty, um, until we have a solution, I mean, economies are gonna have a really hard time getting restarted back up. So I expect volatility until a solution is found. I mean, there's just no two ways to look That's at right. it.
That's right. Mm. No, no, no worries at all. That's certainly going to be um, a very interesting uh, period moving forward from the the state of the economy. That's for sure. Probably uh, just quickly before we do um, leave, Thomas, uh, a few people are asking about the uh, the two Telegram groups. They're having a, a few issues potentially getting it on. Could you mm -hmm. just quickly just give a very quick uh, explanation on how to do that? So everyone yeah, can yeah. So so all you need to do is um, well, actually, you should be able to follow that link on your computers. And if you do that, um, then that link should take you to the Telegram website to download the platform. Um, so you can download the platform on your phone. You can download it on your Android or, or iPod or iPhone or whatever, um, or your PC or Mac. And basically, you just download it through that link, and it's free, and then it will instantly give you the access. Um, if you require the Pepperstone one, obviously, they send it out all the time, um, constantly. You can ask all of your uh, sales representatives, and they'll be able to give it to you. Ask the live chat. They'll give it to you. Um, they're always very, very helpful like that and as i said they're a great one two combo kind of thing if you make sure you follow both of them um, then you get a bit of interaction and you also get some great on-time news from the pepperstone one so i'll post them both back in um, all you need to do is follow those links download telegram if you already have telegram you just basically click it and it auto invites you so if you're not on that kind of platform get on it because it's really great for trading there's heaps heaps of platforms there but be careful it's like anything you want to be finding like-minded people that use similar systems so that you don't have yeah. too much discrepancies there absolutely you want to keep it um, as clean as possible now um look if anyone has any further trouble after that feel free to email us at support at fxevolution.com and we'll be able to help you out with an email if you're having trouble getting on either of the groups. And just to uh, just say again, we had a few more questions again. Uh, it is definitely recorded. You'll be able to get uh, access yep. to the replay of this webinar uh, tomorrow on the Pepstone YouTube channel. So it'll be definitely there for your, uh, to basically to give it a good review. And um, if you've missed anything, just go through it again because there was a lot of key information tonight um and yeah if you have any questions certainly let us know yep nasdaq's the same thing guys all to the same levels obviously nasdaq's a bit stronger because they expect tech companies to do pretty well key areas all up here eight thousand, that kind of thing so look we'll see what happens tonight i expect it to be fairly explosive tonight in the us i tell you what if it sells off off this stimulation package though that's not boding well for the markets ty this is a big stimulation package the biggest i think ever historic and uh we'll see what it can do but the longer this goes on unfortunately the more damage is done and look we don't wish this on anybody so um our i guess you know hearts go out to everybody if they've lost their jobs or something's happened to them in their lives that they're under financial strain um, it's 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 not a nice time for anyone like that, but it does bring trading opportunities. There's no two ways to look at it. Thank you very much. We'll see you in two weeks, and I expect a lot of things to happen in between now and then. So we look forward to seeing you in the Telegram groups and being on top of all information. Check the news. Make sure you're aware of what's coming out. I want to stress it. Thanks, everybody. Yep.